Okay, so this is Karina Daninger. This is my third take. <laughs> For whatever reason, I have now moved closer to the Wi-Fi hotspot. So let's see if this will do it. So my name is Karina Daninger. I am with Keller Williams. I'm in a 100 countdown listings in 2019, and this is listing number two. So we're gonna come fast and furious. If you saw Martha Lee the other day when I announced that one as the first one, we're just a couple days later with the next one. So things are just moving right along. Let me tell you where we're located. We are just off of um, uh, Patrick. We're about um, just a couple minutes to the causeway, uh, Pineda Causeway. Uh, Patrick Air Force is just a little further north. And then to the south is O'Galley Boulevard, O'Galley Yacht Club, lots of shopping and dining. The beach is just um, a few blocks behind us due east because we're on the east coast right <laughs> and um then we have um the swimming pool in the community is just um a hop skip and a jump from this uh driveway and then on to uh schools and dining and shopping all right around but enough about that let's go see this spectacular townhouse we are in a condo association that means you don't do any work on the outside roof walls landscaping that leaves you time to go do what you need to do which is kayaking beaching golfing drinking a little something cold out back so let's go check out what that outback actually looks like and i'm going to spin this around so come on in the door is actually a huge front door i love that and we're gonna as soon as we come in we're greeted by a really sweet half bath and there is uh, this little closet here looks little, but don't be fooled. That little closet goes all the way under the stairs. It's fantastic uh, hideaway um, storage, or we like to call it the Harry Potter closet. So just let the kids know, <laughs> behave. <laughs> um, I wanna show you the nice high, high two-story ceilings. We have a beautiful staircase that's gonna take us up and I can't wait to show you what's upstairs. Beautiful living room. As I pan you in to the kitchen, I want you to see how big and deep this kitchen is. And look at the beautiful lines on the wall. So you're not boxed in. It is very open and inviting. So people want to congregate in the kitchen. They're still close enough to be in the living room, dining room area, yet the kitchen is big and wonderful. All nice newer appliances, beautiful cabinets, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, nice deep, deep double wide stainless steel sink with garbage disposal. The pantry is nice and deep off the kitchen. Well, let me just show you, you even have a ceiling fan in the kitchen, which I love because you know, when you're cooking enough and a lot going on, it's nice to move that air around. Off the kitchen is the beautiful, good size laundry room. And then through that door goes into the very nice size two car garage. So now let's spin back around slowly so I don't make you seasick. You can just kind of pan through the kitchen again. I love how the cabinets, if you see how they step up and down, really nice. Um, definitely an upscale kitchen, beautiful um, backsplash, plenty of space if you wanted to put a little table in here for an eating kitchen. Then you have your dining room area that's attached to your living room. Out back, you will see these gorgeous sliding plantation shutters. They've put plantation shutters on all the windows, and that is a really nice upgraded feature to have. If you've ever put them in, you know they're not, they're not cheap to do. There is beautiful crown molding around the top, nice high ceilings. Again, ceiling fan, beautiful. That's a king size bed. And let me just come back to the front of the room. Oh my gosh, that room is huge. You could put a lot of furniture in here or not, depending on your taste. In here, we're gonna take a left and walk into the master suite where you have a double sink, vanity, lots and lots of storage. You have the closet back there for linens. Very beautiful, big shower. And it is just stuck on in. You don't even need a shower curtain. Spectacular. And then behind this door, and you know, if you follow me, I love this. I wish we had this up north. You have the private water closet. So that gets closed away and we're gonna go on <laughs> back on out. So just take a look coming out. Really, really pretty, large master bedroom suite, really nice. Now we're gonna save that out back for last. 
let's go on upstairs where the other two bedrooms and the bathroom reside. And I want to point out that the interior was recently all repainted. New carpets were put in about a year ago. Really nice um, color scheme. I think it was Cheryl Williams that came in and helped do the whole paint choices. So really nice. As we approach the top of the loft, I just want you to see how pretty the banisters are. The bird's eye view back down. Hey, down there, can you bring me a drink? <laughs> All right, so here we go. On into the loft. I love this loft. This loft is big and bad because you could put a pool table up here. This could be a game room for the kids. You could put a sleeper sofa. You could put a Murphy's bed back on that wall or that wall or this wall over here. There's so much you can do in this room. So when they were thinking about putting more furniture in here, my recommendation was don't leave it up to the next buyer's decision on how they can envision this great big space. If you have kids, it's a great spot. You could turn this into an office, a workout room. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So let's just walk down here. I would like to show you. Oh, I see Jennifer Alvarez is on with me. Hey, Jenny on the block. <laughs> if you need a loan, call Jennifer at Home De Loan Depot, not Home Depot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, we have a nice, nice room. Again, with the upgraded window treatments, really pretty. I want to tell you this closet is deceiving because it looks like a normal closet, but it's not. It's a nice, deep walk-in closet. So that's spectacular. And you'll find that all the closets are really nice in this house. As far as the builder was very smart when he designed it to make sure there was plenty of storage space. Because, you know, we may be living at the beach, but we still have stuff. We have clothes. We need a rain jacket. And a lot of the builders end up missing that because I guess they think in Florida we wear short sleeves all year long. Right now it's like 70 degrees and I'm cold, <laughs> which is why I have a sweater on today. <laughs> all right. Hey, Mike Barron, nice to see you out here. So here's bedroom number three. Again, nice ceiling fan, good wall space, upgraded window treatments, another deep closet, and then the bathroom. This bathroom is large. So way down there, you might have to find out how the weather's going on down there in the shower because it is quite the walk to get in here. You have the shower, you have a nice big vanity. You could eventually, if you wanted to, put a second sink in here if you needed to. You have the toilet over there, a linen closet behind there. And I just want to show you because so many people ask me later, this is a tub shower combo uh, jacuzzi style. So, giddy up, people. <laughs> Anyways, this is 519 Sienna Court in Satellite Beach. It's coming on the market as soon as I get those photos back from my photographer, who is spectacular. And, um, well, it will be $375,000. And this one is its model. It should be a model home. And it's drop your bags, move in ready. If you know someone, if that someone's you, call me if you have a realtor, call them, just say, hey, I'm interested in this townhouse because I know this one's going to go fast. It's beautiful. It's, well, I'd be ready to move in myself if I was looking for a house right now. So 321-693-2482. Don't forget, it's my 100 countdown of listings for 2019. And this is listing number two. I will see you probably Monday when I do listing number three. Have a great day.